Welcome to another update of Aquarius Farms. Um, today's a little different. We're not actually in the garden. Um, we're up on our upper property. And uh, what we're looking at here is a sea of feral raspberries. Now these are not wild. Uh, this property at one point had a quarter acre currant and raspberry garden on it, which was absconded by unknown persons at some point. Um, it just disappeared. Now, my wife's grandmother was in visiting um, from Russia and she discovered these and cleaned out all the brush and we literally have thousands of highly productive raspberry plants that we're going to be able to repurpose in our garden uh, this fall. Um, also back in here there's a fair number of current plants too but it's further back in this jungle than my motivation allows me to go right now. So this is an example of the permaculture approach to using the materials that are available on site. Um, these put out delicious raspberries because there were a few of them last year. We just didn't know the extent of this patch. And we already know that they're well adapted to our climate and they're likely to thrive because as you can see, these are just feral and up until recently were completely inundated in other weeds and bushes. And they are setting just substantial amounts, as you can see. Of raspberries so I would encourage you before you go off and spend a bunch of money growing your garden to buying plants to go look and see what's already available on your property because you may be as we were in our case extremely well uh, surprised another example of our intended approach to gardening fruit is we live near Flathead Lake which is the largest um, freshwater body west of the Mississippi um, you know absent the Great Lakes obviously and uh, there are literally thousands of feral apple trees my wife and I found growing along the eastern shore of that lake. And we are going to this fall take a GPS with us and we are going to go sample all of those feral trees that are on the ditch and the roadside. And the ones that are delicious we're going to tag. We're going to buy some rootstock and we're actually going to graft our own apples from uh, feral trees. And as apples are sexual predators, or uh, sexual predators, <laughs> sexual reproducers, no two apples are ever the same um, if you grow it from seed. For instance, every red delicious apple you've ever eaten is a clone of one original tree. So what we hope to do is establish a population of feral cider apple trees that are varieties unique and indigenous to our area. So thank you for watching Aquarius Farms and have a wonderful afternoon.